Welcome back to Better Life, Better Business with local business coach and time management expert, Christoph Nauer with Balance Six. I'm your host, Rebecca Troxel, founder and CEO of Rebecca's Vault. Today, I wanna to start things a bit differently and pose a question to our audience. Is there a part of your life or business that you feel is out of control or makes you feel like there's never enough time? Are you one of those people that is constantly thinking, if only I had two more hours to my day? Do any of these things sound like something you might have said or thought? If so, keep watching. Yes, that is true. Today, I want to focus on you and the fact that all of you can actually control your lives, even though sometimes you may think not. So the first step is to look at your life in detail. All 24 hours that we get every day, seven days a week. How should we organize those days and hours carefully? You should be aware that you can increase your productivity and efficiency by almost 25% when you have a schedule for every day. By carefully doing so, you actually will have enough time to do most, if not all the things that are on your to-do list. So therefore the key is to plan and develop an extremely detailed schedule for every day. Feel like we just talked about this on a vodcast recently. Something along the lines of one minute of planning can save you 10 minutes in execution? Yes, that is absolutely correct. And if you haven't watched that one, I highly recommend you do. Absolutely. Yeah, totally. I mean, it really, it makes a lot of sense. And then what I'm talking about today is, you know, kind of almost second nature for you. One of my mentor coaches suggests that you pick one set time a week. So for instance, Friday, before you close the office door for the weekend, to block about 30 minutes to plan the coming week. What you do is you include all the things that you have to do for your job, your family, social, and other things, everything. Make it as comprehensive as possible, including absolutely everything. And the more detailed you are, the easier it is to follow. We talked about the idea of clarity before. So this allows you to begin the weekend with peace of mind, knowing exactly what the coming week will look like. I covered this in more detail in another episode called How to Plan Your Ultimate Day. A person who I respect greatly, Tony Robbins is probably one of the busiest persons in the world. Now, Tony does not have any more hours in his week than you or I, but he generally completes everything on his busy schedule because his schedule is detailed and really tight. As you begin this weekly scheduling, you will need to occasionally adjust it as things do come up or you have scheduled too tightly. You will have to have a little bit of flexibility, but that's okay. Also, those of you in industries where you at time have to put out fires. Oh yeah. That does happen, you know, I agree. So you allow for oops time. Maybe you can leave one to two hour uh, a day open where nothing is scheduled. This way, if a true emergency arises and it is up to you to decide if it's an incident that's actually needs your immediate, immediate attention or not then you can stop what you're doing and take care of this emergency. During the oops time, you can then go back and finish the task that you were working on when right. this incident interrupted you. However, make sure to keep these incidents to an absolute minimum. Yeah, and I know from working with you for so many years that you insist both my daily and weekly schedule includes life-giving events or what I so fondly call my Zen time. Can you tell our viewers why this is so important to have in your schedule? I'm glad you asked. And let me illustrate this uh, point with a story. Most people have never heard of Christoph Nauer, but most people have heard the name Carl Jung. Yes. He happened to be Swiss like myself. He had a house at the lake on the Lake of Zurich. I did not. Um, and that's where the similarities end. But, <laughs> So one day he was contacted by a very influential person who wanted to meet with him at two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. 
And he said, I'm sorry, lady, I do not have time. I already have an appointment. So this person was used to getting her way and was not happy with being rejected. But she happened to be out on the lake passing his house at two o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. And lo and behold, Carl Jung was sitting in his backyard, dangling his feet in the water. <laughs> now you can imagine how upset she got, you know. So when she got home, she called him up and was ranting and raving and said, you know, you did not have an appointment. You know, you lied to me. You know, I saw you sitting in your backyard dangling your feet in the water. And Carl Young quietly and calmly said, no, I did not lie to you. I had an appointment. I had the most important appointment of the week, an appointment with myself. Yeah. And I know you have heard this story before. I love uh, this story. So I use this story to illustrate the, my point, you know, Carl Jung is a well-known person in this industry. And when he says the most important appointment of the week, that should really hit home, you know, and I actually would love to take his advice a little bit further and say, let's do this once a day, not once a week. Yep. Um, so if you currently not follow Carl Jung's uh, idea and suggestion, then maybe you can work towards that to do it at least weekly and then eventually going to daily, okay? Also taking a lunch break away from the computer and phone could be a simple start. People who do this are actually more productive in the afternoon than those who don't. Sitting at the computer and shoveling food in your mouth is not really recharging your battery. I know it will take discipline and commitment and you need to put it on your schedule, but eventually it'll become a habit. And that's really what we want to uh, strive for. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons I love that story is because I know from my experience that sometimes as a business owner, we are too hard on ourselves. We feel like we have to be at our clients beck and call all the time. And we're too afraid to communicate with them our availability and our needs, because who cares? They're the customer. But Part of the reason I find this interesting is because it's not hard for a doctor's office to set parameters for themselves and around their time. No one calls their doctor and says, hey, I'm going to come on Tuesday at two o'clock. They give you times and you pick the one that works best for you. And so I strive to be more like a doctor's office and value and respect my time. What would you suggest to an entrepreneur or business owner that's struggling with this too? Exactly what you just said. Absolutely. Fantastic. Yes you know, do the same. Um, I know I had a, a client uh, of mine called his attorney at the uh, receptions, answered the phone, gave him a time when, he, when the attorney was available and he was outraged and said, I don't have time to wait around, I need to talk to him now. And so next time he saw the attorney, he brought that up. And the attorney said, listen, this is the only way I can run my business. You know, my secretary, she has my schedule and she knows when I'm available and when I'm not. And he was not happy with that. So I said, you know what? I know you're a contractor, that's okay, but I think you should do the same thing as the attorney, you know, then he just looked at me with the really big eyes, you know. <laughs> the other story I'd like to share with you is the one about a single mom with four kids and that she was uh, trying to launch a real estate business. So she was just working crazy hours, always working and very little time for her kids. Even when she was home, she was not really present to her kids. Right. So I introduced the ideas of office hours to her and she just looked at me like I'm from a planet Mars. She said, you don't understand my industry. And I said, yeah, you're correct, I don't. I'm not a realtor, I'm a business coach. But I can tell you one thing, if you don't set time aside for your kids and you actually be present for and with them, they will resent you. Absolutely. So lo and behold, after a few months, she did uh, implement that and slowly but surely and now it's pretty clearly stated in her signature in her email and in her voicemail message when she was available when not and when people could expect to call back and i'm so proud of her you know and she now runs a multi-million dollar business here she has several members on her team and she actually called me a few months ago and, and told me how happy she was with with that advice and that she was so glad that she did in, um, actually implement that that's awesome. Another story is a personal one. You know, my wife and I were always working full time um, and we felt guilty about going out at night after the kids were, you know, without us all day. 
And so one day we were just about ready to uh, strangle each other. And so we decided we needed a break. And, you know, so we did do what we needed to do. As we were pulling out of the driveway, the kids were standing at the top of the driveway and they were chanting, party, party. You know, I, you know? <laughs> and so my wife and I look at each other like, there's something wrong with this picture, okay? These guys are having a blast that we're leaving and we feel guilty. All right. Well, the thing is with the babysitter, whether it's an aunt or uncle or a, a grandma, or, oh, just the babysitter, things are different. And that's okay. And that's fine. The kids are absolutely fine. And the parents get a chance to recharge their batteries, take care of each other, reconnect, you know. I mean, I had a client um, when we talked about having a date night and they were both working a business together. Um, I said, you know, when you have a date night, you cannot talk business. And they're like, what? Well, what are we going to talk about? I said, well, I don't know. Whatever he brought you back to get when, when you got together, you know, whatever it was, it's up to you, but no business talk, no shop talk. So it's, we all need that. And our kids, if we have kids, deserve that because then we can be better parents um, than when we constantly work, you know? So if you're currently not doing that, have a date night, let's start monthly, you know, then eventually get to weekly if you Kane, I mean, that's my suggestion. Again, going back to the story with Carl Jung, block it on your calendar, treat it with the same importance as a client appointment. Um, you can always make more money, but you can never make more time. True. Listen to Warren Buffett. He has more money than God. And he says, I can buy anything I want except time. Very true. So my advice, if you're not currently doing it, half a date not once a week, your partner will appreciate it and you will look at each other 10 years from now and still know each other and that's a good thing that's probably um, good I, I would say so right so let yeah. me know what you'll do differently after watching this uh, episode and uh email it to me at life at balance six dot biz i'd love to hear from you well thank you christoph that wraps it up for this week um, with another information-packed conversation with Christoph Nauer of Balance 6. Make sure that as one of our listeners, you take advantage of the complimentary business breakthrough sessions Christoph offers. All you need to do is go to his website, balance6.biz, and click on the link to schedule your one-to-one -one with him, and you'll be able to get started on your complimentary business breakthrough session with Christoph. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you'll join us again next week to continue to help you have a better life and better business. Take care. This week's episode of Better Life, Better Business is brought to you by CANC Video Productions. Since 1985, CANC Video has been providing live streaming, event production and analog to digital transfer services. They captured those life-changing moments preserving your history for current and future generations because your history matters. Visit their website at cacvideo.com. Thank you so much for your sponsorship. That's all for now. Thanks for listening to another episode of Better Life, Better Business with business and time management coach Christoph Nauer with Balance 6, the leading business and time management company in Northern California. Visit them at balance6.biz.